I'm heading to a place renowned for having one of the best biryanis in Bangalore. But it might not be what you expect. While this restaurant has been serving biryani for the last 40 years, the building itself has over 100 years of history as a traditional wrestling arena. A strange mix that I can't wait to see. And I'm not sure where it is. It's this really long road here. There's also the little saws. Hey, I can't be too far away because I see whole muttons just hanging from this butcher here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey. This is mutton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so I'm looking for uh, Brawani. You know Brawani Handi? Is this way? Wow, and look at this. Let's come take a closer look. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Mabu. Mabu? Yeah. Mabu. <laughs> wow, look at that beautiful rib there. Thank you. Thank you. This tiny door, narrow lane. I'm looking for Briani, but I don't know where this is leading me. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Hello, how are you? Hi. I'm Luke, how are you? I'm doing good, how about you? This is Ahmed, the owner of this place, and his passion for food and sport means he can combine the two. How long have you been here? Uh, we are here for almost like four decades right now. Wow. I'm the fourth generation. Fourth generation, so how many years is that? 80, 90? Uh, we have documentations of almost like 100, 100 plus years. Incredible. And so this is a traditional style of wrestling? Uh, yes, this is the old traditional style of wrestling. Yeah. It's known as mud wrestling. Right, wow. So this is all, I love the, the, the weights here. This is the gym. This is yes. where you train. I this is a lit. What's this? Is this a, a mortar and pestle? Uh, no, this is known <laughs> as the karela. What we do for the shoulders. Oh, this, oh, right. This works out for the shoulders like this. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Do the locals come in here, eat the biryani while they watch the wrestling, or do they finish wrestling and they eat the biryani? <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. The wrestling happens only in the morning as yeah. well as in the evening. So right. in between, we serve only lunch. I see. The, the selling of the biryani kind of funds the whole training of the wrestlers, right? Correct. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to watching the wrestling, but all, I won't get in there and do it, of course, because, uh, you know. If you want, you can get in. You can just remove your shoes <laughs> and you can get inside. Uh, I'm, I'm more interested. I'll do the, the biryani band. Okay. Band, band. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Oh, wow. They're going to start wrestling. <laughs> and just like biryani, important preparation is needed before the wrestling can start. The arena floor is painstakingly prepared. Brute strength and fitness is required. The soil is a special sea sand that is mixed with ghee and oil. And only after worshipping the soil for good fortune can the wrestler step into the pit. And then, like a scene out of Gladiator, the wrestling begins. With the wrestling coming to a close, I look to my left where slightly less wrestler types are preparing the biryani. Chef has allowed me to help make the biryani, so we need to ensure it's ready for lunch service. And this is more my style and how I can prove myself. Pots replace the weights and cooking replaces the wrestling. Now here we have some sunflower oil, some red onion chopped up as well, and all these wonderful spices and herbs that go into the biryani oil. So we've got green cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, that goes in, scatters all through the oil there. And in a minute, we're gonna put it on the fire and bring it to heat and bring all those wonderful aromas out. Now the oil's getting hot, so we're gonna put all of this wonderful sliced red onion in there. Beautiful color. Now we're gonna caramelize this onion, we're gonna brown it. We're gonna get some texture because that's where all the flavor for this biryani is, is all in the onion. Is that right? Nice. <laughs> Spices, yeah, okay. Chili powder, coriander powder, masala. 
<laughs> I think. Wow. Garlic paste goes in. Look at that. Smells <laughs> divine, really does. All that ginger, incredible. Wow. Chili powder, yeah? Like a nice big heat ladle of that onto the... More. Oh. All. Three. <laughs> now we have a big tub of sliced tomatoes. That all goes in. Now here we have sliced coriander and mint. Smells like Southeast Asia. <laughs> Love it. That goes in. Curd. Lots of curd. Lots of yogurt. Now with that yogurt or that curd, it's gonna bring out all the enzymes and it's gonna really tenderize the mutton as well while it's cooking. Now we've got 20 kgs of mutton here, fresh mutton. That's gonna go all in. Nicely chopped. Now you notice that the bone is still in the mutton, the meat, so the sweetness will come out. On the bone is always good. And that's two whole muttons, around 20 kilos of meat and bones there. That should feed around 150 to 200 guests. And also, very, very fragrant, very fragrant. So much fun cooking like this. We're cooking for large groups of people, you know, big handies, big pots with my friends here. And we are communicating through food, through hand gestures, and a bit of this as well. <laughs> It's wonderful. Really, really enjoying it. Now look at this rice. Mmm. Oh. Beautiful, al dente cooked rice. Perfectly cooked. This is very important in a biryani. And not overcook it. The grains are all separated, not stuck together. Now this goes into the biryani handi. Here we go. Just spectacular. <laughs> Just love it. Look at this. Beautiful aromatic rice. Wow. Now. The rice is really covering all of the broth and all of the mutton, so it's keeping all that, that heat in there, so it's gonna slowly steam underneath the rice, really seal the whole pot completely. Scented water of saffron, look at the color. Now this is just gonna go over the top like that. Gives that beautiful saffron goldness to the rice. So all the rice is getting incorporated into the sauce. Bursts of color. And this is India, you know, it's so vibrant, it's so colourful, it's so aromatic and fragrant. This is the dish that I've been really waiting to try in southern India. And the dish is finished just in time for lunch. A lot of work goes into this. Are you enjoying yours? It's good? Beautiful. It smells amazing. We're going to put some of that there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yum. I've got this salad here of tomato, cucumber, red onions, chat masala through there as well. And I've got salan, which is almost like a tomato-based gravy that goes over the top. And this is more masala for more flavour. Oh, yeah, goes over the top. My mouth is watering, just going to mix that all together. Mm. Wow. <laughs> It's an explosion of flavour, but the flavour is so balanced and subtle. I love this. That's what's gonna come in now. I'm gonna remember and savour this experience for a very, very long time.